Hi, Martin here. Today I'm going to show you how to do under the hood lighting. Now I got some lighting here. I'll show you what I got going on for right now and how do we're going to even improve that. Now what I currently got is this LED strip here. Now this is actually made for like uh, putting on the back of a trailer uh, to you know use for like let's say reverse lights. Now actually there's another one because they uh, generally sell these in a set. And I bought these, I think <laughs> I've had them for so many years and then I had them laying around so I put them on here. You know, I put one of them on here to get this lit up under here. Now, it worked in a pinch, but the size of it is, is um, the, I don't like the way it sits up here. It doesn't look real professional. So we're, what we're gonna put in here are some other LED lights. I'm gonna show you here in a second. Now I'm gonna show you how well it lights up this engine bay right now. It does a pretty decent job. All right, here's that LED strip lit right there. And you can see it does a pretty nice job of lighting up the engine bay, not bad. Now the only thing I don't like is how dark it is over here. You can't see any of your injectors or your coils. And you can't really see down in here at all. So it really does cast some shadows on either side here. Now, if my battery was sitting here, I mean, it would do a good job of lighting it up. And it lights up the front of the engine pretty nicely. So what I want to install is something a little less noticeable as far as there's that light, you know, and it's shining in your face. Um, this isn't bad. But I want to make it to where the light is shining down on around the engine and you don't see the actual fixture that much. I mean, it's almost unnoticeable. Now, one of the first things I had to do was install some type of tip switch or mercury switch. So when I pull the hood down, like right there, it shuts off. And as I raise the hood, it comes back on. Now, what I used way back when I installed this is this mercury switch and what it is there's two contacts right down in here and let's say you installed it at that angle and as you lift the hood that mercury slides down here and makes contact with the little metal uh, probes that are in there these leads that hook up to these leads right here and completes the circuit so, and actually I got these out of a, um, it was a self-leveling thing for an RV. There was four mercury switches in there. And so when you got all four lights lit, you were level. Well, I salvaged these and I've literally had these for 25 years. And well, I've used one so far. So what, in the next uh, 75 years, I might use the other three. <laughs> so anyway, I got that mercury switch mounted up in here. And what I did is I uh, literally just glued it in there with some RTV. I got it at the angle I wanted it. And as I pulled the hood down and I got to the point, okay, that's where I want it to shut on and off. I, you know, positioned that mercury switch in there and let the RTV set up. Then I got the wiring run down inside this channel right here inside the hood. And then I got it coming out way down over here. And then it leads to the power supply or your battery fuse block right here. And I actually used one of the existing empty fuse slots and made that a fuse that can be used. You know, there's, if you lift this cover up and you look at what's under here, generally there are several positions that are not used. And I did a video on how to actually use these spots. I'll put a link up above where you can check that out. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna actually run the wiring in a different uh, path. I'm gonna take it down this way. I've actually already added it in here and I got the wiring set right up in here somewhere. We're just, uh, yeah, there it is. So we're gonna have one of the LEDs located here and then we're gonna mount a couple more off to each side. And maybe I should show you what kind of light we're using. Now these are actually meant to be used as rock lights or to 
illuminate the underside of your four-wheel drive. You can go out rock crawling or something like that. These are very bright. They have a nine LED. I love how thin they are. It's like three-eighths of an inch. Uh, I think it's 1.37 inches wide and just shy of two inches long, or maybe it's actually over two inches long. Uh, these lights also come with this uh, rubber grommet that fits behind the light. Let's say you're mounting it to a roll cage, so it gives you that, it's got that rounded, concaved feature there. And uh, by the way, this is a like a die-cast aluminum housing. It's not no plastic or nothing like that. So, you know, durable. And it's also waterproof. It's all sealed back in here, epoxied in. So it's made to be underneath your Jeep or your four-wheel drive vehicle and go off-roading and put up with some abuse. It fits perfectly up in this spot right up here. And then put, you know, the two there and we're gonna remove this one and replace it with one of these. So now we're gonna get light shining down on both sides of the engine and one down toward the middle. All right, well, let's get started. Now the lights come with an Allen bolt and nut, a self-locking nut. This is a uh, M6 by 1.0. Now I'm not able to use them because I can't get the nut behind it. So what I got here is I got some bolts that I've, or screws, I've had laying around. This is a 1224. Uh, kind of an uncommon size, but in my field of work, we use these all the time. And I love the, it's just a very short, I, this is all the longer I need them. You know, I don't need nothing very long. What I'm going to have to do is drill and tap. And here I got a uh, tap that fits right into my quarter inch drive DeWalt. And I'm just going to simply drill and tap those holes. And this should be pretty easy. Got my DeWalt, just like that, all set up. Okay, using this rubber like grommet right here, I'm gonna take this, place it where I want that light. Then just using this all, scribe the lines, you know, the holes right here, where you want the holes to be drilled. And then you also gotta take care of the hole for the wiring as well. Pull it away, and I got my three locations right here. Then I'm taking a center punch and punching those locations. Just like that. All right, all set up here to drill. Yeah, I know some metal shavings falling down. Uh, best to wear some safety glasses. All right, for the hole for the wiring, I'm gonna use a stepper bit, just like that one. Remember, there is a hood up there, so don't go too far with this. Now, it is going to be hard for me to get that uh, wire out of that hole. But there's an existing hole right here. What I'm going to do is just enlarge that a little bit using this larger stepper bit. Okay, now with that hole drilled right here, and you know we got the holes drilled for the light fixture itself for the LED light. I need to get a wire from over here where the, I got the uh, mercury switch to over here and then we'll have to do the exact same on the opposite side of the hood. Now what's nice okay this here's the wire that runs down to our battery power and you can utilize all these holes they already got in the hood as a passageway to get uh, from point A to B. So by feeding this wire through here, even if I don't get it over here, I can get it out of one of these holes and keep continuing. There we go. See, just like that. 
And now I can get it down to the next one. There it is. Okay, got that part done. Okay, now I'm going to length the wire over to the center part here. We're going to put all the wire together over there. All right, got it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this light installed. Just need to fish in the wire this way, come right out of this hole over here, and then we can make it up out here. There it is. See it. looks nice up there you barely even notice it okay now this particular wire that I'm using is an 18 gauge stranded wire this is a a pair of wires in here this is actually uh just leftover stuff scrap from work all right we'll get this made up Now I'm going to solder everything because I don't like uh, using any type of crimp, especially if the wires are tucked in here and it's going to be hard to get to. Now one other thing I did on this type of wire that I'm using, I got this stuff right here. This is like a uh, braided loom is what it is. And I got this out of a bunch of fiber kits. I do fiber optics and this stuff comes in all the kits and generally I don't use it, but I save it. And uh, so I'm going to slide that over all the cable just to add some uh, added protection and makes that gray wire kind of disappear with the black theme I got going on the vehicle you know you don't see it so just one other thing I added to it so I got everything here and what I'm going to do is take all the positives solder them together then the negative coming from chassis ground this one okay I'm going to take that chassis ground to one side of the mercury switch and then the other side of the mercury switch is going to go to all the other grounds. And then the ground is completing the circuit. And you could do it the other way around. If you want positive to complete the circuit, that's just fine too. And we'll just slide a piece of heat shrink over this. All right, now we just need to shrink this down. Okay. 
Now we can just take this, we're going to stuff it up here in the hood. There we go, you can't see none of it. All right, here's the lights all mounted up. I got the wire right, right down to here. You can see that loom. And then it goes underneath the cowl here. And I got it coming out right here right now. Now, here's the original wire that I had running up to that other set of LEDs. And then it laid in here and then went up in this hole that I had in the hood here and then going up this channel. Now we're running up this channel this time. I've been working on a wire tuck and this is why I'm going to such great lengths to hide all these wires because I don't even want this to be seen even right here. You know even that little bit of a loop is too much for me. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole right down in here and that actually will bring me into the engine compartment right behind the ECM. To make this whole thing a little easier too, I'm gonna to go ahead and just remove this reservoir. It's just two 10 millimeter bolts, pull this reservoir out. And that way I can get down in here and uh, dress that wire into the uh, existing harness. Yeah, I'm using this angled drill attachment. These are relatively inexpensive. I'll put a link down in the description where you can get one of these. Makes it easy to get in here because the drill would hit the hood and I don't have to remove the hood this way either. Okay, let's see. About right there. Okay, right there you can see the hole I drilled. And I'm going to use a grommet right here. Put that in the hole. That way we don't do any damage to the wire. Now you can take your wire. Pass it in there. Went ahead and uh, I got the positive one here shortened up and soldered on. And uh, I just got to take care of this negative one. Alright, everything's hooked back up. Now we can reinstall the fuse. Alright, now I'm just go ahead and plug the fuse back in, see how well it works. Alright, they come on. Alright, let me shut some lights down here in the garage and we'll check it out. Alright, I got the fuse pulled again. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. I'm liking this. Now Compared to before, you couldn't even see any of this. This was total darkness over here. Now I can see the injectors and the coils and, you know, get to all those connectors and everything. Same with this side, you know, I can see everything real well. What a difference, huh? Yeah, I like the way it really turned out. And if you did and found it helpful and informative, sure appreciate the thumbs up. It helps out the channel big time. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I'm real happy way it turned out and everything. Uh, the reason I went through such lengths to uh, hide the wiring and all that is because I've been working on wire tucks in the engine bay and on the engine itself. Uh, that side up there is coming up next. I've got this side all done. You can see there's nothing over here. And I, I just like that clean look. 
and that's why I went with these LEDs. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and informative, I sure appreciate the thumbs up. And if you never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you'll get notified the next time I upload a video. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Please check down in the description where you find Amazon links to tools and products that we used in this video. And you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links and the channel earns a small commission. Appreciate that. Thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one.